So I got this question from one of my subscribers that states, what skills do I need to have in order for me to have a successful career in management information systems, guys? That is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now, let's get to the video. What is up, Ladder Clemens? This is Antoine Wade, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing what skills do you need to have in order for you to have a successful career in management information systems. Welcome back to the Black Eyes channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, guys, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button because it helps us grow the channel, and the channel has been growing, and I thank you all for your support. Guys, we are going to jump right into this video, guys. So the skills that you need in order for you to be successful in management information systems are these. Number one, I'm going to say you're going to need some problem solving skills. So, you know, being logical and a motivated problem solver is probably one of the main requirements in just about any IT roles or any uh, management information systems role, whether you are a business analyst, whether you're a financial analyst, or whether you are a software engineer, you need to be logical and you need to be a motivated problem solver. And one of the things that I reviewed was that pay scale specify that information systems managers today must be able to resolve situations satisfactorily, no matter how complicated they are or how difficult they may become. So problem solving skills are very important. You need to use logic, you need to pay attention to details, and you need to really be able to critical think in deep tech space. And you do that by doing a lot of reading, you do that by solving a lot of challenges in your undergrad, you do that by solving challenges in the real world. So my number one would be problem solving. My number two would be management skills, guys. And in order for you to rise high in an organization, whether it's IT or whether it's in the business, you aren't just going to be managing technology. You also need to develop and direct your people that you're working with. And this is where, you know, human resources skills come in, you know, IT leaders and business leaders, you need to know, know how to motivate your employees. You need to learn how to develop your employees and you need to learn how to guide people as you work and as they work. And one of the courses that we teach at Black Heights in the curriculum is situational leadership and it allows you to meet your employees where they are. So if they were a beginner or if they are a, a junior or if they are a more senior person, it allows you a step by step process on how you should manage them and how you should give them the autonomy that they need, depending on where they are within their career. And management itself typically falls out of the scope of having technical knowledge, but it is a key skill that you're going to need in order for you to be able to climb the ladder into the IT organization or any organization that you are in. And part of the management duties is to be able to look at the strengths and the weaknesses of the people that you are bringing into the team and the people that you already have on your team. And you need to do this because you're going to be considering promotions and, and hiring managers. Typically, what they end up doing is they select candidates who have proven that they can lead, uh, who has empathy and who has a good amount of awareness in order for them to uh, be part of the overall team. And the third skill that I believe you need is a specific industry knowledge. And you're going to gain this over time, but it is best to have a unique knowledge of something that you're working on. So for instance, it was for me, it was as a software engineer, I learned about warehouse management systems and I became an expert in warehouse management systems and where I can work at multiple companies doing warehouse management implementations and things like that because I understand exactly the logistics foundation of it, but you're gonna to have to have some sort of specialized industry knowledge towards something, whether that is in the IT organizations, information systems, in healthcare, 
or you know security and things like that and you need to be able to specialize into something to make sure that you have that expertise and to make sure that you are really high in demand in the vertical or the industry that you actually are in my number four would be a technical awareness and as a software engineer when i graduated out of college I had to know how to code. Now you may be a business analyst or something like that, or a financial analyst. Well, you're going to have to learn how to one, be able to retrieve data using things like SQL or either be really good at Microsoft Excel. So you're going to have to have some sort of technical knowledge and you're going to have to be really good at that technical skill in order for you to be able to climb the ladder as well and to have a successful career in management information systems, wherever that industry may be that you're in. So having a technical knowledge on uh, whether it's coding or whether it's web design or whether it is, you know, SQL, or whether it is um, doing things like Microsoft Excel and pulling reports and things like that, you're going to have to have some sort of technical knowledge as well. And last but not least, and you probably are going to be blown away by this one, but you're going to have to have some sort of awareness to security. And guys, that means that, you know, not answering all the emails that come your way, making sure that you know how to filter certain things, making sure that you're not putting yourself and your company into a jeopardizing position where there could be a cyber attack or a phishing attack that causes your organization to lose data. So you're going to have to have some skills that prevents you or, or allows you to, from, you know, getting hacked. And you're going to that's just going to be part of the awareness of what potentially is going to be out there. And you can get that by you know, doing some studies and companies typically offer you a lot of training in these areas once a year so that you have this sort of awareness of things that may come. But just imagine, you know, some of the people who are just getting onto computer systems. That's why older people are pretty much a target because, you know, they can get an email and it seems like it's from one of their grandkids and they're asking for money or something like that. And next, you know, it's some sort of uh, Siberian Prince or something like that, right? So they gotta have some sort of security awareness as well too. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me do a recap on the five different skills that you're gonna need. You're gonna need to be able to problem solve. You're gonna have to have management skills. You're gonna need to have specific industry knowledge on something. You're gonna have to have some technical skills and last but not least, some security awareness as well too, to have a successful career in management information systems. Leave me a comment on any of these points in these topics. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you like this sort of content. And until next time, y'all, peace.